Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. The words of Peter here, after the Bread of Life discourse, are nourishment for us. After Jesus describes himself as bread of life, we see many disciples returning to their former ways of life. Because, they say, this saying is hard. They find difficulty with this idea of eating someone's flesh and drinking someone's blood. They do not fully understand the sacrament. That is, the sacrament of the Eucharist. Peter does not really seem to fully understand it either. Yet he gives a profession of faith here. Now, oftentimes, we don't understand what God's doing in our lives, in the church or in the world. And I find myself sometimes using Peter's words in prayer, Lord, to whom shall we go? Where else am I going to go, Lord? This, by the way, is the same Peter who in our first reading from Acts of the Apostles raises Tabitha, or Dorcas, from the dead. Now Peter's trust shows fruit in the long term. Now in the short term, Peter knows that Christ's message is salvific. Therefore, he's ready to accept Jesus' words, even though he doesn't seem to know fully what they mean yet. This passage helps us remember that faith is trust. Now let us remember today that faith and understanding, while compatible, do not always come at the same time. Yet, even when we don't understand everything, we can trust God who is trustworthy, and whose message to us is one of eternal life. Mm -hmm.